Travel photos are some of the best memories we capture, but when we get home they often end up lost in a sea of random files, mixed in with screenshots and impossible to find when we want to relive those special moments. In this video I'm going to show you how to organise your travel photos like a pro, and stick around until the end because I'll share a bonus tip that will completely change the way you organise your travel albums, making them way more fun to look back on. Step 1. Gather all your photos in one place. The first step to getting your travel photos organised is to make sure you actually have them all in one place. If you've taken photos on multiple devices, your phone, a camera, maybe even a GoPro, they probably scattered across SD cards, cloud storage and different folders on your computer. The easiest way to do this is to create a dedicated folder for your trip. Like this, you could do travel photos, 2024 Italy trip, 2023 Japan adventure. Once you have your main folder for each trip, transfer all your images to it. If you use iCloud, Google Photos, OneDrive or Dropbox, you can also download your trip photos from the cloud and save them into this folder to make sure nothing is missing. If you want to find the best way to do this then check out this little video up here to download all your photos from your favourite cloud storage. If you're using Apple Photos or Google Photos, most of your trip photos will already be automatically grouped by location, but it's still a good idea to create your own travel albums manually to give yourself more control about what is actually included. Step 2. Create location-based albums Once your photos are together, the next step is to break them down into smaller location-based albums. If your trip covered multiple destinations, creating sub-albums for each major city or stop along the way, for example if you visited Italy, you could have 2024 Italy trip, and then you could do Rome, Florence, Venice. This makes it so much easier to find photos from specific places without scrolling through thousands of images. If you're using Apple Photos, open up Apple Photos and click Albums and tap the plus button to create a new album. Name it based on your trip, so Italy 2024 or Cuba, and select photos from that location and tap to add to the album. Or on Google Photos, open Google Photos and go to the Albums area. Click Create an Album and name it based on your trip. Select photos taken at that location by searching for that location and adding them to the album. If you want to take it a step further, some apps like Mylio let you organise albums by GPS location automatically, which is great if you want your photos neatly grouped without having to do the work yourself. Step 3. Add metadata for better searchability. If you ever struggle to find specific travel photos, adding detailed metadata can make a huge difference. Metadata is hidden information inside your photos, like location, date, camera settings and even descriptions that helps you search and organise your photos. In Apple Photos you can manually add metadata by selecting a photo, clicking on the little eye info button to open the metadata panel. Add a caption with trip details. If missing, add or correct the location manually. In Google Photos, it works really similarly. Select a photo and click on the three dots or the I for info button on your computer. You can add a caption like the photo managers in Amsterdam. Check the location has correctly identified the right location and if needed, manually edit the location or add more context in the description. If you want even more control, software like Adobe Bridge lets you batch edit metadata. Open up your photo in Adobe Bridge, go to the Essentials area and go to the Metadata panel in the bottom right hand side. Add keywords like Canada, Toronto, Summer 2016 trip to make searching easier. Save the metadata to the file with a little tick so that it stays embedded. By taking a few minutes to tag your photos properly, you make them instantly searchable so you don't have to scroll endlessly to find that perfect shot of the Eiffel Tower. If organising travel photos is something you're trying to get better at, you might also be thinking about all those other photos sitting on your phone, external hard drive and cloud storage that desperately need sorting. That is exactly why I created my Photo Mess Success courses, to help you get every photo into one place, declutter them and create an easy to manage system that actually works. 
If that sounds like something you need, you can check it out at photomesssuccess.co.uk, where it will help you go from photo mess to success, one step at a time. But for now, let's keep going and talk about how to turn your travel photos into a digital travel journal. Step four, create a digital travel journal for each trip. Now that your photos are organized, why not take it a step further and turn them into a digital travel journal? This makes your trip way more fun to visit rather than just scrolling through endless images. One easy way to do this is using Google Photos Stories feature, which lets you create interactive slideshows with captions and dates. Apple Photos uses generated memories, which groups photos together into a mini travel story. But if you want more control, consider creating a travel journal in Canva, Mylio, or even a simple Google Doc file. Add photos in order, write a short caption for each, and include details like where you were, what you did, or funny things that happened along the way. Not only does this make your photos way more enjoyable to look back on, but it helps preserve those little details that we tend to forget over time. Bonus tip, use maps to track your trip in photos. Here's my game-changing bonus tip. Use built-in map features in your photo apps to instantly see your trip photos plotted on a map. In Apple Photos, go to the Places view to see where all your travel photos were taken on a world map. Open Apple Photos and go to the Pinned Collections and Places, or on your Mac, just Places. Here you have an interactive map that plots your travel photos by location. Click on a pin to view the photos taken in that place. On Google Photos, it has a similar feature. Go to Collections and scroll down to the Places area and tap it. Google plots your photos by location, so select a location to view all the images from that area. This is such a fun way to relive your journey visually. It also helps you fill in any gaps if you realize you're missing any photos from certain parts of your trip. My watch out, back up your travel photos ASAP. One final watch out, never wait too long to back up your travel photos. So many people lose their best travel shots because their phone gets lost, their memory card gets corrupted or they accidentally delete them. As soon as you get home, back up your trip photos to at least two places, your computer, an external hard drive or cloud storage like Google Drive, OneDrive or Dropbox, following the three, two, one backup approach. Have three copies of your photos across two locations with one being offsite. And this will make sure that your travel memories stay safe forever. And that's how you organize your travel photos like a pro. If you want the lowdown on backing up your photos while you travel, then check out this little video next. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.